Hey yo together and very welcome to this Dark of 2 crazy replays today on Moonlight Madness with another TVP where I guess I'm playing Mac. As we have spawning in the right top position, it's Wumpy the Blue Protoss. And he's playing against me spawning in the left bottom position, it's the Red Terran Eric Susher. Oh yeah, so this one, lean back and try to enjoy. I also will try to explain as much as possible while I'm going through this replay. Should be very interesting. And I'm not sure but I might I might just start with the... I still have some GM level replays and you should really look forward to them because they are... I don't want to say I'm a pro player. No, I'm not. Definitely not. And I'm definitely... No. But... I have the feeling, and that might sound arrogant or anything like that, but just let me explain. I have the feeling, sometimes, sometimes, when I play against a GM, especially against Zerg, because Biomine is so action-packed. If I watch a replay for me versus a GM Zerg, where I won, of course, then I have the feeling that this is actually a high level, not 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 high level play like Maru versus Dark or anything like that, but a GM level play, you get it? So, so uh, a game, uh, a game where you think, hey, those two guys are pretty damn good, and that makes me really proud of myself. That I'm watching a game of mine and say, wow, I didn't play too bad there. If you get the point. So yeah, uh, as you can see, this is obviously a uh, older replay, I guess, because of. The barracks and the gas taken here. Wumpy super annoying with this probe. Uh, delaying stuff a little bit here. Even repairing the barracks, lol. Uh, yeah, no, there we have the Reaper, so that might be the Widowmine drop we could see. Uh, which I was used to play a lot and then transition into Mac. But yeah, Wumpy scouts it. And there's my SUV scouting around as well. So far, just one gas taken, so I guess out of Wumpy we might see. A macro oriented approach. So, why is this Reaper going there? Ah, it's searching for the probe. Alright, I uh, won't find it. Uh, there is a salad, not being chrono boosted out yet, which is okay. Uh, I really think we should see the Nexus soon. So, he will cancel the salad now and throw it on the Nexus. There we go. And there's the Reaper on the way. Nice. So, the SV scouts it. Behind that we see the Mothership Core, and the good thing is, if you didn't know, if you can see if your Mothership Core is produced or not as Terran, just because of the light, you see it? It's it's going super huge into the air, and then you know it's a Mothership Core. Um, it's, yeah, difficult to see, but you can see it if the probe is being produced now, should soon start probe. There you go, the light not even near reaching the one of the Mothership Core. And with that you know, okay, is it a Mothership Core or not? And that can be also very important to know if it's Oracle or not. Because I guess with an Oracle you don't get the Mothership Core. Depends a little bit, but I'm not sure. Don't, don't... I, I don't know. I really don't know. So don't don't say, hey, you said... Oops, because that's not the case. I don't know if that's the case. I'm not playing Protoss. I don't know if Oracle is the case, if Mothership Core is being produced or not. Behind that we see for Wumpy the Twilight Council, which could be either Blink or DTs, but I guess it's most likely Blink. And the Reaper patrolling there. There we go, Widowmines, Starport, and the Command Center. The probe will get killed, most likely. Pew pew! Nice. That's nice for me. Uh, he will send out the Mothership Core and the Stalker to deal with that. He might even be able to kill the Reaper if I'm not reacting in time. And currently I'm not. Oh, that's huge. Bye bye Reaper. That's That happens when you don't have multitasking and weapon. So much blood. Oh my goodness. Yep. That, and there we go. Blink. So, mm, I'm moving out with the Marines there. Uh, interesting proxy pilot. Ooh. That's ambitious. I, I don't know about that. That can go so horribly wrong. But I'm getting another probe for my efforts. Nice, but he sees all the marines, so... Uh, will he really move out? 
It looks like no, he's he's going on top of his ramp. Yeah, that's that's nice. So, oh no, he's going down. I guess he will warp in soon, Stalker. Uh, a couple of there's not the big gateway explosion yet. So, so far it's not a two base blink all in. I would say. Uh, just a bit of pressure and oh no, micro from both sides. I could have killed a lot of Stalker and he could have kited way better, but two Stalker already quite low. Uh, where's the medivac? There we go, medivac. Ooh. Oh, he's forced to use the time warp. Sure, he can now kite better against the Marines, but he got no photon overcharge left for either the main base or the natural. Oh, he might lose the mothership core. Ah, I'm not focusing it down. There we go. Uh, all those Marines just trading with the Stalker. The Stalker all coming back down to the na uh, natural. And behind that, we have the Widow Mines in position. Oh my god. 12 worker killed. 3 there, 7 there. And. And that's the thing, uh, he doesn't have a robotics or a forge, that's why Widowmine drops are so good against Twilight Council openings, because they lack the the uh, vision. So if you are Blink Stalker all in, as soon as you can afford it, just have one Widowmine drop. And, and you basically force him to go really all in. Oh god, the Widowmines will fire again! Oh, three more kills. Not the most amazing hits, but... That's huge! And he still doesn't have... Oh, the, the, the cannon won't be ready in time, will it? Uh, the cannon takes 30, 40 seconds... Oh god, those Vitamines will shoot again. This is this is enormous. And behind that we see, of course, factories coming down for me. And I'm supply block, which I am solving with the supply drop. Ah, he pulls it back. Okay, so this time he pulls it back. The Vitamines won't shoot again, but I'm denying... Uh, delaying mining time again. Ah, oh, that's that's horrible for Protoss. Yeah, okay, so the Villa Mines get cleared, but that was a lot of lost mining time, to be honest. A lot, a lot of lost mining time. Uh, then did we see even more factories. Uh, yeah, nice. So we have here the armory coming down. Uh, barracks floating around, and it looks like Wumpy going for some kind of aggression. Finally, at the 10:30 mark, he's moving out. Uh, but I'm quite ready for play. Uh, not quite yet. Uh, the tanks are in a okay position, but I really should have killed the rock tower there and have a tank back here. So uh, he tries to go to the front, and I'm not sure why, because he will see there's no way for him. Yes, an SCV in this bunker. Oh my God, that's a huge mistake. Why is there a SUV in this bunker? This guy will never work! Oh no. Okay, Nexus goes down for Wumpy. Uh, he's using the forge. Very good. Upgrades. Very important. I should use my armory as well. Ah! There we go. It's just no finishing. Alright, so... Yeah, those, those stalker and the mother should go. So he can recall, he can use time warp. Mm, back at home, he knows he's quite safe. Uh, it looks like the medivac is scouting around. That's an interesting thing. A scouting medivac. Okay. And there he goes. Uh, he might be able to... Uh-oh. Do I see it? Uh, I could see it. Uh, he's killing the barracks. So that means no more factories for me. Can be annoying. So he kills that. Will he blink into the main base? Oh, there's a raven. Uh, he saw the Vitamines, I guess. He blinks in. Oh no, Widow Mines! Oh my goodness, oh this! <laughs> he lost all the Stalker! For almost nothing! And he might lose the Mothership Core as well! Yeah, the Time Warp did nothing there. Uh, he kills the Medivac, but... Oh. So if you now look at the unit lost, that, that was... That was not good at all. That was... Oh my god. He lost 10 Stalker and the Mothership Core for a Medivac? Oh no. You can't... That, that, that... No. So those Widow Mines were so nice. And looks like I'm finally taking a third base. Alright. Uh, Templar Archive ready for Wumpy here. I scan... Oh, and I see this, the robotics. I see the second robotics. I see the Templar Archive. So I know that he's most likely going for uh, Charge Flood Immortal, which is quite strong. There's a Warp Prism. And that could deal damage. There's no turret. And just a siege tank, he doesn't have the Dark Templar Shrine, which would be huge. Uh, so yeah, I got the Raven, but it's way out of position. So, 
Huh. I really could... Ah, okay, it's double star pot. I really could need uh, turrets here. Could be important to have. So he's swapping in some salads. One on patrol command there. That's nice. I like that. Oh, hell that's... Oh, my upgrades. Just plus one. Fusion core is on the way. That's very interesting. So it looks like we could see battle cruiser, but battle cruiser out of free base means you have to cut stuff. You had upgrades or units, anything like that. So it's difficult to transition out of free base into battle cruiser. It can work, but it's difficult. I don't know why he's getting thermal lands, extended thermal lands. I wouldn't do that against mech. Colossus aren't that good, but we see the bam of reactor. That's nice. The war prism still inactive there. Uh, small force of stalker seeking for damage or map vision that's fine as well Ooh, so many hellions oh god there, oh, how many hellions are that 24 you will see how good hellions are against stalker in in small numbers so those hellions man they are they are super super annoying the war prism still inactive still no ebay I got a second armory. I should upgrade my units. Look at that. And yeah, they, they, the, those docker, they're taking huge losses there. Once He blinks but loses more and more stalker. And he's losing gas units and for me it's just minerals. I can... I, oh, line him up, baby! Line him up! <laughs> That's so cool to see. Uh, yep. There's a war prison. Oh, the tank unsieged. Very nicely done there. And ah, uh, it will survive. The salad not dying. Armor upgrade too good. So he kills three hellions there, which is good. Uh, double forge finally coming for him into play. And for me, the double army, uh, battle cruiser. Does he see it? Where, where is, where is the? No, he has no idea. He has no idea. He sees the Hellions. It's like, yeah, Stalker and Colossus are good, but we saw Daishi once crushing uh, uh, Stalker and Salad with uh, Stalker and Colossus with Mass Hellions. I guess he can't blink into that. Uh, he could try, but there's a rave. Oh my God! No, 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 no! Don't do that, Wumpy! Don't. That's a PDD. Uh, a bit early, in my opinion. I should have failed a bit more. Oh, carefully. There's an observer, but Raven and Viking as well. I, I think Wumpy should take another base soon and throw down some additional pylons. He's getting some more gate base, which he really could need. Uh, but yeah, very passive game. I maxed out uh, 60 SCVs and some other stuff. The Yamato cannon still not ready. Not being researched, which is a huge mistake. Yamato cannon is so important. There we go. As well as the upgrade. So Battle Cruiser are not that great because of the DPS, yes it's nice, but they are really nice because of the tankiness they have, but with just plus one armor upgrade, they are not really that good. What you really want to have is plus three armor, because then Stalker deal almost no damage to them. There we go, the Raven, so important. Look at all those Hellions! If I would micro them a little bit better, then... Yeah, there we go. Oh! That misclick! Scan ahead. He's hiding the Colossus and that's really good. Uh, there you go. Just four Vikings and now we will see how that goes. Because I'm so heavy up in supply, I don't know why. Uh, those tanks out of position here, not doing anything. Photon overcharge being used, Viking goes down. There are some tanks. Yamato can ready. Ooh, the Colossus taking huge damage there. I should maybe morph the Hellions into Hellbats. Here we go. Uh, the tank's not fighting. As you can see, they are real. Oh, that's, that's a big mistake there. The tank's not shooting whatsoever. And yes, he loses all the Colossus. But because the tank's not shooting, I lost so many of my battle cruiser that he can't clear this with the remaining Stalker. Uh, that's not good for me. Salad weapon from behind. Very nicely done. And he clears it. That was not a good fight for me. If you look at the unit loss tab. <laughs> yes, gas-wise I'm, I'm ahead, but still. I haven't taken the fourth base behind that. I'm a bit gas-starved. I mean, I have a small bank, but this will deplete so fast. I can tell you. And I'm still going for Hellions. I'm not quite sure about that. So, he, he holds for now. His upgrades are okay. 3, 1. Could be better. Uh, oh, he's going for Void Rays, and I don't like that at all. Void Rays are 
super bad against mech. Because they die to Vitamines like nothing. I mean, Vitamines don't one-shot them, but... Ah! Uh, Yamato Cannon kills them like nothing. I, I guess Avoid Ray has... Yeah, Avoid Ray has not enough HP to survive. Ah, oh, PDE is so good. To survive... Oh, the Immortal! Rig attack now, look at that! Once! So huge. Yamato Cannon! Ah, uh, you can you can juke the Yamato Cannon with Blink. That's so annoying as a Mech Terran. But yeah, it's good for, for the Protoss. No, you, you can see Yamato can deal 300 damage. White Ray has 250 health in total. There's a huge! Huge! How much died there? 16 SVs, okay. Uh, yeah, Hellions and Battle Cruiser will clear that one. The other Void Rays, they might kill this Orbital Command. Or a lot of other stuff there. Uh, taking out the gas, that's nice. I really should take care about this war person. Denying the gas, very important. But yeah, Vo Void Rays not that good. I would I would recommend, if you wanna go for Mech, for, uh, for, for Air as Protoss, first of all, you need to have upgrades. That's the most important part, of course. But then don't go for Void Rays, go for Tempest and Carrier. And yes, they aren't that good against Battle Cruiser, but they have some. Oh, that flank! The splash is huge! Oh my god. Okay, uh, another warpin. I still haven't found the warp prison yet, which is so nice. So he's keeping me, me back at home, uh, which is really nice. He's so annoying. He's killing so many SCVs, and I still haven't found the warp prison. And now he's in my main base. Yeah, it's a bunker, but those marines have no upgrades, so it takes them for a look at how less damage they deal, like two to four damage each shot. And there's a huge blink stalker run by. Uh, yep, killing a lot of those Vikings, being super annoying. The Thor are good, but what you really want to do against blink stalker is tanks. You need tanks. You don't need 20 tanks, but against blink stalker, it doesn't matter how many blink stalker he has. As a support unit. You need 8 tanks, 6 to 8 tanks, I would say 8 tanks is good. If you have 8 tanks, all those Blink Stalker do nothing. You can slowly siege forward, they can't chip away your Vikings and Hellbats and, and, and anything, they simply can't. Thor are nice, but tanks are way better. Because of the DPS, the splash, the position they can hold. Against Blink Stalker, if you see Blink Stalker, 6 to 8 tanks and you are safe. Oh, nice juke there. And he might get this orbital command. There is... There are two Raven. Uh, he's killing all the SCVs there. So now I'm down to 41. And he might blink out of that, but where does he blink? Hmm, he's losing a lot there. Hellion still dealing good amount of damage. But not too much. 11 damage, one shot for 7. 7 damage, that's not too much. But he is on the run. And the Warp Prism, did it die, finally? Yes, oh, there are the Void Rays. But look at that, the splash! The splash from the Thor! Oh, no, 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 that's huge. Oh, Hunter Seeker Missile! <laughs> Amazing! And he might be able to clear all the Battle Cruiser, but uh, quite even this fight, I would say. Quite even, so... Uh, Hunter Seeker Missile goes down, that Archon, bye bye Archon. He wins this fight, but it was close again. Uh, more and more Blink Stalker. We're being produced here behind that. Ah, oh, Battle Cruiser, Ooh, carefully. And you can see the Stalker just deal 10 damage each shot, which is not a lot to a unit that has 550 health. Uh, but now it's getting close. There's no PDD, he snipes it, doesn't see up the ramp. Uh, there are still those Vitamines! A good Duke, Hellions are coming there. And auto tools are nice, they don't have the upgrades yet, so that's a bit unfortunate for me. I could have gotten them, but yeah. So, this is... Uh, more and more Hellions coming there. And as you can see, it's, it's okay, Hellions aren't too good against Stalker, but not too bad either. Uh, it's, it's okay. They trade quite equally. It's, it's, it's okay. Not the most amazing part, but Hellions still are uh, okay. Let's let's keep it like that. But still, um, I'm heavily outmined. I should take another base soon. That's exactly what Wumpy is doing as well here. Uh, those salads. Ah, this those TB is still not being cleared. 
more Archon, some High Templar, he's pretty damn gar gassed up. And he's going for Void Race again. And if you look at my composition, I'm going for Raven this game. So normally I shouldn't go Raven against High Templar, but he's morphing all of them into Archons and Raven are good. PDD, Hunter Seeker Missile, nice stuff. Especially against flying units like Void Race because they're so slow. So here we are. Oh, he tries to go for a, a sneaky move. Uh, all those salads running into all those helmets. Oh god! <laughs> run! Uh, immediate death. And there's another run by it. That could deal damage. That could deal real damage. He could take out the gases. He's going up the ramp again. Does he remember the Widow Mines? Nope, he doesn't. Um, but he's pulling me apart. So, auto turrets. Seeker missile. Yeah, pull back. And that gave me enough time, I would say, to defend back at home. At my fourth base. Finally get a sensor turret. Uh, but yeah, a lot of energy was wasted on those ravens. How many ravens do I have? Nine ravens. So he got three high templar. Feedback would be good. Uh, but it looks like I'm moving out. Taking another base. This war prison. It's is the next one. So annoying. That's what I hate uh, about Protoss. Is in the later game they can just do something like that. Warp in 20 zealots and be super annoying. And it only costs them 100 minerals and it's super strong. Imagine a Terran player warping in. Here for example now 20 hellbats. Cause why not? Woo! But yeah, that's, that's the thing, Terran against Protoss. Oh, losing all those Archons! Uh, oh. So this base is not mining, but still, it's, it's a bit important. And there we go, tanks! And now he has a huge problem, because with the Zorka he can't move into tank. Tank fire, they deal so much damage. 65 worth is armored. Guess what? Stalker are armored. And he has to go for uh, a run by counter or something like that. Battle Cruiser Hellion Hellbats taking uh, care about that. Mm. Oh, he needs to be carefully there. Ah, so many Hunter Seeker missiles for nothing. That was a lot of energy wasted for nothing. And this base is still up and running. So, as long as Wumpy can hold this place, secure it, that this base doesn't fall. He's in a good position. Then he's on two mining bases against my two mining bases. Oh, lifting that orbital command to where? I have no clue. But yeah, okay. So, he goes around. The upgrades on his... Uh, oh, he forgot Storm. The upgrades not the best one on his flying units. And now the tanks can shoot on this Nexus. And we'll take it out eventually. I guess. And yeah, he can't move down the ramp. This, this is a horrible position for him. He would love to come from multiple sides. But currently he's, he just can't. Uh, he's long distance mining from here. Uh, but yeah. I guess he will hold for now. As I see his army moving out. Oh, I got some tanks back at home. Oh, he could lose so many hell, uh, high Templar to the Hellions. Awesome feedbacks, no storms. Hunter Seeker missile. Oh my god. Some of them connect. Oh, most of them connected there because of the blink or the units died. That was huge, but still, my army is strong. I got it. Mech, it did happen. Meching it happen. Ah, Hunter Seeker. <laughs> I'm killing my own stuff because the units die before the Hunter Seeker missile can can uh, hit the target. So still he has the space. He has income. He has no bank, but he has income. He can deny mining here, which is exactly what he's doing. Oh yeah, the uh, CVs will die, that's for sure. And ooh, won't be pulling myself back here. Uh, he denies mining. He might even kill the orbital commander, but I'm killing a base. And all those probes will go down for sure. Ah, he's so starved. He has no unit. No, no. Ah. So base trading against a turn is nothing you want to do. He's losing so many probes. They can't run. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. And yeah, you can see Void Race. They aren't really good here in this situation. Sure, they're dealing good damage, but they just stay... They, 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 don't stay laying it long enough. They, is, they, they don't have the meat in their shield. Oh god, he's losing High Templar to this tank. 
Oh no! All those high Templar with the storm! For nothing, that was so expensive. Now he's on one mining base. Sure he denied that one, but... Uh, look at the supply. That's, that's the most important part. The supply and the unit lost help. Amazing. Really amazing. Uh, there we go. Won't be going for the counter. But there is nothing to counter. What do you want to attack? There is nothing. There are still those two widow mines. Uh, yeah, he can kill the orbital command, but he can't hold at home. And he won't be able to to, de to destroy the planetary fortress, most likely. Uh, long distance mining now from his base there. No way. No way you hold that. And you see, the Void Ray isn't dealing too much damage to the battle cruiser either. Because of the armor. Six armor is so much. And yeah, that's the planetary. He could maybe kill it. Because there's no repair. Good micro on that one. Yeah, he might get it. He will get it for sure. Killing the SCVs with a couple of Stalker and the rest of the Stalker is attacking the planetary fortress. He got it. Very nicely done. But behind that, uh, he still got one mining base. He, he refuses to give up. As he doesn't see my my uh, supply count. But yeah, still, let's... Oh, Wither Mines! So that's his army. That's all he got. 9 Stalker, 1 Vault Prison, 29 probes. And he can't produce anything anymore because, guess what? All his production facilities died. They were killed. Here we go. That's it. GG. Making it happen, guys. Making it happen. A very wild game, a very strange game. I should have won right there, but my tanks are out of position, like... Siege up the tanks here and here. And then fight there, that's bad. Having the tanks here and there and fight here. Awesome! Because everything was clumped up, but I didn't do that. That was a huge mistake. And so, the game dragged on longer and longer, but eventually I was able to win, so... Yay! Okay, with that said... Thank you so much for watching. As always, I hope you enjoyed and I wish you a very nice day and...